In this video, pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-solve ng rational equations. So, we have 5 over x plus 3 plus 2 over x squared minus 9 equals 4 over x minus 3. So, notice yung denominator natin dun sa second term is x squared minus 9. Si x squared minus 9 pwede pa natin siyang i-factor. So, kapag may nakita kayo sa given natin na pwedeng i-factor, i-factor muna natin. So, magiging 5 over x plus 3 plus 2 over yung factor ni x squared minus 9, that is x plus 3 times x minus 3, and that is equal to 4 over x minus 3. Since nakapag-factor na tayo, pwede na tayo mag-proceed to step number 1. In step number 1, sabi, eliminate denominators by multiplying both sides by the LCD. So, tingnan nyo mabuti yung denominators natin. Yung denominators natin, ang meron lang is si x plus 3 and then si x minus 3. Hindi na natin isusulat ng dalawang beses si x plus 3 and then hindi na rin natin isusulat ng dalawang beses si x minus 3 counted as 1 na yun. So, ibig sabihin, yung LCD ng given na ito ay x plus 3 and x minus 3. Next, since nakuha na natin yung LCD natin, pwede na natin silang i-multiply both sides ng ating equation. So, the equation now will look like this. Okay, we have x plus 3 times x minus 3 times yung given natin. So, kung i-multiply natin sa left-hand side of the equation, multiply din natin yung right-hand side ng equation natin. So, ito yung gagawin natin. This is another way kapag nag-distribute tayo sa fraction. So, kapag mag-distribute tayo sa fraction, we can proceed with division first and then multiplication. So, ang gagawin natin, divide muna si LCD kay denominator. So, magiging x plus 3 times x minus 3 divided by x plus 3. Kapag dinivide natin sila, makakancel out si x plus 3, and then matitira na lang isi x minus 3. Si x minus 3, yun na lang multiply natin by 5. So the equation na will look like this. x minus 3, yung natira, multiplied to the numerator 5. So ganun din yung gagawin natin on the next term, yung LCD natin, which is x plus 3 times x minus 3, i-divide muna natin sa denominator, x plus 3 times x minus 3. Ang matitira na lang is numerator which is 2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng plus 2. Ganun din yung gagawin natin on the right hand side of the equation. First is 2. Divide x plus 3 times x minus 3 sa denominator natin x minus 3. So, kapag nag-divide tayo, makakancel out na si x minus 3. May iwan si x plus 3 na lang. And then, si x plus 3, yun yung multiply natin with the numerator. So, the equation now is equal to 4 times x plus 3. Since wala na tayong denominator, we can now proceed to Step number 2, which is to solve for the value of x. Okay, so to solve for the value of x, ang gagawin muna natin is, distribute muna natin si 5. So, 5 times x, that is 5x. And then, 5 times negative 3, that is negative 15. So, meron na tayong 5x minus 15. And then, copy plus 2. That is now equal to, again, Multiply 4 times x, we have 4x. And then 4 times 3, we have 12. So that is 4x plus 12. Next naman is to combine like terms. So dapat magkakasama yung my variable on the left hand side of the equation. And then yung constant sa right hand side of the equation. Or kahit pagbalik na rin, basta dapat magkakasama yung mga like terms. Okay, so sa left-hand side of the equation, ang tanggalin natin is si 15 at saka si 2. 
So, para tumatanggal natin si 15, add natin yung additive inverse niya. Ano ba yung additive inverse ni 15? That is positive 15. So, magkakaroon tayo ng plus 15. And then, si 2 naman, para matanggal si 2, kailangan natin ilagay yung additive inverse ni 2, which is si negative 2. Again, the operation na gagamitin is addition. So, negative 15 plus positive 15, this will become 0. And then, 2 plus negative 2, this will become 0. So, kung nag-add tayo ng positive 15 on the left-hand side of the equation, and then nag-add tayo ng negative 2 on the left-hand side of the equation, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa right-hand side of the equation. So, that becomes plus 15 and then minus 2. So, kanina, diba, sabi ko plus negative 2. Si plus negative 2 and then minus 2, same lang yun. Okay, on the right-hand side of the equation naman, ang kailangan nating matanggal is si 4x. Para matanggal si 4x, we add the additive inverse. So, the additive inverse of 4x is negative 4x. So, 4x plus negative 4x, ito magiging 0 na lang din. So, kung nag-add tayo ng negative 4x sa right-hand side of the equation, mag a din tayo ng negative 4x sa left-hand side of the equation. Okay? So, the equation now will become 5x minus 4x is equal to 12 plus 15 minus 2. And then, simplifying this, 5x minus 4x, the answer is x na lang. And then on the right hand side of the equation, 12 plus 15, that gives us 27. And then 27 minus 2, the answer is 25. <laughs>